Slippery shell code. This program is a little more tricky. Can you spawn a shell and use that to read flag.txt? All right. Copy that. Let's see what we have here. So we have a vulnerable program with set group ID set. It'll be able to read the flag. Let's take a look at the source code. So this looks very much like the problem before with shell code. It's going to enter shell code, but now it's going to jump into the shell code up to 256 bytes. Our shell code looks like it's 512 bytes long, so that should be more than enough. So we just need to get ourselves some shell code again. Linux x86 shell code. see if this one will work for us. All right, so we'll edit that. Let's get rid of the extra stuff. Python program that prints this out. That'll be great. Um, and we're going to jump into the middle of it by about 200, up to 256 bytes. So what I'll need to do here is I'm going to need to add what will be called noops. And noops are hex 90. And I'll add 256 of them. So no matter where I jump into the first 256 bytes, I'll just do the rest of the no ops, and then I'll do the shell code. All right, so um, I'll run that, prints that out. I'm going to put that in input txt in my home folder. And what we learned before is we need to do the cat of that shell code followed by the dash so that it will continue to read input from the command line. And uh, maybe the shell code is not good. All right, let's try some different shell code. Let's try this one. Okay, let's see if this one is better. looks like that one worked better. We'll cat the flag. Slippery shell code. There we go.